If you want to see weed-related stories, you should definitely watch our picks for the best modern stoner movies. It doesn't sound very mellow. Well, he only had three other batches. Uh, Gorilla Panic, uh, They're Coming, They're Coming, and something called This Is Permanent. Come on, spark it up. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Kid Cannabis, 2014. Look at me. The shit that we grow here is fucking insane. Kid Cannabis is a biographical comedy drama film directed by John Stockwell and stars Jonathan Daniel Brown, Kenny Warmold, Aaron Yu, Ron Perlman, John C. McGinley, and Merritt Patterson. Serving a showcase for the irresistible charm of its leading cast, Kid Cannabis is not only an exploration of post-school life of someone who never got the chance to evolve into manhood, but of the buddy trip of a lifetime. Going nowhere in life, a school dropout and his best bud try to make some money by smuggling weed over the Canadian border. Very sweet, hashy taste, and it finishes with a Christmas cake mix of tropical fruity flavors. Manitouska Thunderfuck and Silver Cushy. Number 9. How High, 2001. So you trying to get something to bring them nerves down too, huh, bro? Yeah, I think if I study high, take the test high, get high scores. <laughs> How High is a stoner comedy film directed by Jesse Dillon and stars Method Man, Red Man, and Lark Voorhees. This hilarious stoner movie finds two friends on the dumb road, having no plans whatsoever. But after smoking some magical weed, they suddenly ace all their exams and end up in Harvard living the high life. With the end of their magical cannabis supply, they find themselves in a situation way over their heads, leaving them to fight with good old techniques. What are you doing, Av? You just running the streets, fucking with the living? No, bro. I'm just here for you. But you gotta understand that people can only see me when they smoke me. I got all the answers. I can consult with people. Socrates, Nietzsche. Even the old dudes who made up this test. That's bullshit. I bullshit you not. Number eight. Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay, 2008. That's Alabama Kush. That's only the finest. So you get high and then you put other people who smoke weed in jail? Duh. That's so hypocritical. Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay is a stoner film written and directed by John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg and stars John Cho, Cal Penn, Rob Corddry, and Neil Patrick Harris. Delivering what the title already teases, this sequel to the perfect stoner buddy road trip finds the friends heading to Amsterdam. But after being imprisoned for smuggling a bong over to Europe, the two find themselves hunted by the police for suspected terrorism. With the help of a good friend, the situation might be solved, but sadly, the plan is bad. You like giving hand jobs? No, sir. You like getting hand jobs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that makes you a fucking hypocriticizer, too. So shut the fuck up and smoke my weed. Number seven. Lombok, 2017. Wo Yeah, also, Fakt ist ja, das weißt du, die Menschheit stammt von Außerirdischen ab. Also? Lombok is a German comedy film directed by Christian Zuber and stars Lukas Gregorowicz, Moritz Bleibtreu, Luis Hoffmann, Mavi Herberger, and Alexandra Naldel. This German take on a buddy comedy to get you high follows Stefan, who is unknowingly stuck in a lifeless routine. About to marry a businesswoman in Dubai, the last thing he needs to get is his birth certificate in Germany. What is supposed to be a short trip ends up in excess when he meets his old stoner buddy. Jetzt denken die sich, hey, wir sind jetzt hier 100 Lichtjahre durchs All geflogen und wenn wir jetzt hier schon keine Handelsbeziehungen aufbauen oder moderne Technologien austauschen können, dann Lass uns auch einfach eine Runde gepflegt ficken. <laughs> Number six. Grandma's Boy, 2006. What is that ringing? Do I have a tumor? Oh. Hello? Grandma's Boy is a stoner comedy film directed by Nicolas Goussin and stars Alan Covert, Nick Swardson, and Linda Cardellini. Shockingly dark and cynical, Grandma's Boy finds a semi-successful video game designer moving in with his wacky grandmother after failing to pay his rent. 
Now, not only his daily pot smoking is ruined, but his social life crumbles as he fails to connect with the woman he loves and the businessmen he tries to win over. I want you to take the Frankenstein shit, the deer shit, the green monster, the bling, and the bling bling, and I want you to roll it all into one joint. No one's ever been brave enough to try that. One man is. Roll it. Number five. Ted, 2012. You know what? I think I too want a Martina never to Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't no, work. No, no, no. Don't ruin it. No. That totally works. No, no. Ted is a comedy film directed by Seth MacFarlane and stars Mark Wahlberg and Mila Kunis. This ultimate stoner movie took place in fans' hearts for its instantly iconic buddy duo and dark humor to wrench your guts. Once famous reality TV star living stuffed bear Ted spends his senseless days taking drugs and hanging out with his best friend, a human. While both have lost a meaningful way to go, there might be another chance to find purpose if they finally get things together. It doesn't work. It doesn't the name work. has to have a ski at the end of it, and you just put Brewski at the end of Martina Navratilova, so... Well, I just thought we were saying funny names. No, no, it has, it has to have a ski at the end of it, otherwise where's the challenge? You know, if there's no ski at the end of the root word, then we would just be idiots saying nonsense. Number four. Super Troopers, 2001. Had to teach you boys a lesson. Officer Rabbit and I are gonna stand here while you three smoke the whole bag. Super Troopers is a comedy film directed by Jay Chandrasekhar and stars Jay Chandrasekhar, Kevin Heffernan, Steve Lemmy, Paul Soder, and Brian Cox. You better not mess with the Super Troopers, as they will bring hell to the highway and ruin you right along with it. It's the story of five overenthusiastic but understimulated state troopers who enjoy messing with innocent bikers and have an ongoing feud with the local cops. Constantly in danger of being shut down, the troopers must make a living while on a ride on fire. Oh, oh fucking Mac. I need medical attention. Side effects may include fatness and irritability. I think it's a mood enhancer. Oh, God damn it. I know I'm in a better mood. <laughs> Number three. Lambach, 2001. And warum denkst du, tut sie das? Hm? Weil sie immer noch auf mich steht. Ja, so sieht's aus. Aber da hat sie keine Chance. Keine Chance. Lambach is a German stoner film directed by Christian Zubert and stars Moritz Bleibtreu, Lukas Gregorowicz, Marie Zilka, and Alexandra Neldell. Selling dope is quite a perky business but nothing is as daring as selling pizza and more or less openly selling food with hidden weed in it. This is Stefan and Kai's plan to make a living. But their empire is about to fall when a policeman is right on their tracks, hiding in plain sight. Jenny had also her Vorteile. Do you have them? <coughs> Sex. Sex, zum Beispiel. Ah. Mm -hmm. Jenny. Jenny war im Bett. Echt eine Nummer. Number two. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, 2004. Please tell me there's another White Castle in town. No. Are you sure? Do I look like the kind of brother that would be unsure about something like that? Shit. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle is a buddy stoner comedy film directed by Danny Liner and stars John Cho, Carl Penn, Neil Patrick Harris, and Anthony Anderson. This classic stoner journey does not only give you the ride you wish, but offers smart commentary with the subversion of classical stereotypes and a buddy chemistry that's one of a kind. As a nerdy accountant and his best bud desperately try to find a burger restaurant while stoned, the two go on a road trip that they won't forget so easily. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Come on, Boogie! Let's burn this motherfucker down! Let's burn this motherfucker down! So, uh, you guys maybe should just suck it up and go to White Castle. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Sick, what have you guys been doing? Oh, we just hung out all day, uh... I ate a bunch of dirty burgers and smoked about a fucking pound of weed and played a bunch <laughs> of video games. Weed is tight. Weed is tight. That's awesome. That's awesome. Weed yeah. is awesome. It's like the golfing sequence in Navy SEALs. That shit is the Mad Notes! Written by God herself and handed down to the greatest band in the world. The motherfucking time! I mean, the guys in that Prince movie? Yeah, Purple Rain. That shit was so gay, fucking 80s style. I mean, we want to get high too. I don't have any papers on that. Is this hilarious? I got at a bachelorette party. <laughs> so stupid. Here, try it. I know. Why? I don't want to put a big glass cock in my mouth. Oh, you think this is big? Number one. 
Pineapple Express, 2008. This is it, man. This is what your grandchildren are going to be smoking. Future. The future. Pineapple Express is a 2008 Buddy Stoner action comedy film directed by David Gordon Green and stars Seth Rogen, James Franco, Gary Cole, Rosie Perez, Danny McBride, and Amber Heard. Belonging to the always effective stoner buddy comedies, Pineapple Express follows two stoner friends, one dealer and one ordinary loser, who witness a crime and accidentally drop weed at the scene. Knowing that the weed can be tracked and led to them, they now must get everything in its right place with crime bosses and the police on their heels. You equip yourself. I'm equipping. Okay. Equip me, now, sir. Nice. You go. Okay. You are going to light these two ends okay. while I light this end. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Blast off. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.